In this video, I am going to show you how you can create a question paper with the help of Google Documents. Plus, I will also give you an extra tip which will save you lots of time while creating your question paper. So, let's get started. First of all, select any browser that you want and click here and type Google Documents. Next, click on the first link here. So, you are here in the Google Documents website. If you want, you can sign in first, but let's go with Go to Documents. So this is how Google Documents looks like. In order to create a question paper, click on this blank document. Now this is the place where you will be creating your entire question paper. First of all, from here, you can type the name of your question paper. So let's type fifth class question paper. Next, below this, you can see there are few buttons which we will be using as it is required in our question paper. Below that, you can see there are some tools which will help us to format our question paper as it is required. So now let's start building our question paper. First of all, in most of the question paper, at the top level consists the school's name. So now let's type the school name first. So after writing your school's name, if you want, you can increase the font size. So let's keep 18 here. Now if you want, everything should come in the center. From here, click on this align button. And then click on the second button, align center. So everything will be in the center. Now click enter to come to the next line and click backspace to come to the left side. Now if you want, your next text should start from here. So what you can do, you can use your space bars to create spaces. But the better way is, you can use your tab button instead. Tab button will help you to create spaces faster. Now, if you are thinking the text size is too large, you can select everything and click on this minus button. It will decrease the text size. Now, if you want, all this text should be in the bold. Select everything and click on this bold button here. So, now let's write our first question. Now you can clearly observe by mistake I have typed here give but the correct word should be given. By this blue underline it is automatically saying us that hey something is wrong here you need to correct. So it will give you the auto suggestion you can choose this and 99% the auto suggestion will be correct. So as you can see here I am saying read the passage given here. To write the passage it will take long time for me. So here is a tip that I want to discuss with you. What you can do, you can click the photo of the passage from your mobile phone and bring it to your computer. So how do you bring it? You can use WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, or you can even use USB to bring that photo to your computer. So for simplicity, I am just using WhatsApp here. So I have, you need to send this photo to your WhatsApp and you need to download it to your computer. And then you can see this three dots. Click here and you can get this option save as. So uh, you can also do this in other way. Simply click on this arrow button and you will here also get the option save as. So you can click that button and it will be saved as uh, an image in your PC. You can type your relevant name about the photo and click on the save button and it will be saved. Now next thing what you can do open this new tab type image to text and hit enter. You can go in any website. So let's go in the first website here. So this is the website, how it will look. You need to upload it here. So this is the photo that I downloaded. So open it here. After uh, uploading, you can see it is uploaded here. Next, you can click on this button submit. So it will take some time. All the processing has been finished. Now you can see you will get the result one. And here this is the text from the photo that I have downloaded here. You can click on this button copy. Copy it from here. Come to your Google documents. And here simply click Ctrl V to paste it. Or else you can simply right click and click on this button paste. So it will be pasted here. Now. It is always recommended to go through the passage at least one time. So if there are any errors, 
that you can fix it on time. According to me, the passage is correct. Uh, here there is a mistake. So let's correct that. Now automatically recommending that Zach is the name of some person. So uh, it should be in capital letter. So you can take that recommendation here. With the help of this image to text converter, you can save a lot of time. Just click the photo of the question and convert it to the text and paste it here. So this will save a lot of time while creating your question paper. Now let's move to the next question. So the next question is complete the word chain. In the question paper, if you want, you need to create some boxes and arrows. So let's see how you can do that. You can click on this button insert and go to this option drawing and then click on this new button. Now from this button you can take different shapes that are available here. So we will be taking rectangle. Create one rectangle. So by default the rectangle will have color. If you don't want that color, click on this forget icon and click on this button transfer. So the color will go. If you want, some text should be written there. Click on this text button and click here. Now type your text. You can move your text from this from this middle dot, you can move your text. Now, if you want arrow, you can click on this line button and take this option arrow. Now, you can draw an arrow like this. Now, if you want the same box, what you can do, you can uh, click on the box and then right click it and click on this button copy and then right click again and paste it. So, you will get an another box here. Now, if you want the box with arrow, select both of that. So, our text is also getting selected. So, what you can do, you can reduce the size it like this. If you want to copy both your box and arrow, you can select both of it and then copy it and paste it. Again, you can paste it like this and bring it forward. So, this is how you can draw any diagram in your Google Documents. So once you are done with your diagram, you can click on this button save and close. So you can see our diagram has been uploaded here. If you want the uh, size of the diagram should be little lesser, you can do it like this. Let's go with another question. Now the question says you need to frame the language question and uh, answer should be the underlying one. So how do you underline any word in your question paper? So first you need to select that word that you need to underline and then click on this U button. So it will be underlined. Now as you can see I am typing next thing but then also this underline is coming. So what you can do you can click on this uh, you can select all of this and again click on this underline button so the underline will go away. Now let's see how you can create a table in your question paper. To create that, click on this button insert and then you will get the option for creating table. From here, you can choose how many rows and how many columns that is required to create your table. So for me, let's take 3 into 3. So I will get 3 rows and 3 columns. So this is how I will get it. What my requirement is, I don't want this two line. So what I can do, I can select all these columns like this and right click it and I will get the option for merge cells. By clicking on this, you can see uh, the lines, the lines that were divided here are no longer exist. Now, if you want this, this text should come in center. You can select the text and then Go to this align button and then click on this button center. So everything will be centered now. If you want this uh, text should be bold, you can click on this button bold. Now this will be bold. Uh, so after doing all of this, you suddenly recognize that you need one more row. So how do you add that? Click on the last row, then right click it. And then you can see the option insert row below. Click on this button and again one row will be created. If you want to create the column like this, click here 
and then again right click it and then you will get the option insert column to the left and insert column to the right. So let's click on this button insert column to the right. So again one column is created here. Again if you want uh, this this line uh, should uh, should be deleted from here. What you can do you can select everything like this from your mouse and you can merge the cells. So uh, this is how our table will look like. So in this question, I need to write multiple sub questions. So what I can do, I can click on this button. Now I can type my question. Now if I will hit enter, you can see automatically this two has come. I did not write this, it has come automatically. So one tip that I will like to give you, if you want to create this underline, what you can do instead of always doing like this, then seeing no, there is again less and then increasing it. Instead, what you can do, you can simply copy this and paste it everything. So let, let's delete the extra spaces if there are. Now it's time to add mark. So before that, what I will like to do, I will uh, select everything and uh, let's bold it. To create spaces, I am using tap button. So after creating your question paper, if you want to add a watermark, so let's see how you can do that. To do that, click on this insert button and then down here you can see the option for watermark. Click there. Here you will get the section for adding watermark. If you want the watermark should be the text, so anything that you write here uh, will be displayed here. So this is one option for, for adding a watermark. Next option is image. To add an image, click here to select an image. Click this button browse. Select your school logo and click on this button open. So it will be uploaded here. As you can see, it has been uploaded. But generally, this logo is too big. So what you can do, you can double click on the logo and you can decrease the size of the logo like this from here. Now this is not in the center, you can bring it like this in the center. Now if you are satisfied with the size, what you can do, you can click on this button more image options. If you want, you can play with all of this. You really not need to play with all of this which is just a time waste. What you can see, the uh, logo is very dark. Uh, for some students, it will be very difficult to read the question because of this logo. So it is always recommended. Add the logo in lighter shade. So for that you can play with this option opacity. Decrease the opacity and you will get. So once you are satisfied with all of those settings, you can uh, click here to close these options. And once you have done with everything, you can click on this button done. If you want, if you don't want this watermark and want to remove, you can click on this button remove watermark. But for me, it is fine. So I will click here done. Now you can see. Our question paper is looking like this. Now let's see how you can download this uh, question paper. For that, click on this button file and here you will get the option for download. Here you can download in different formats such as Microsoft Word and there are different formats. Most recommended format is PDF format. Click on this button PDF format and it will be automatically downloaded in your download section. Click there and this is how your question paper will look like. So this was all about creating question paper with the help of Google Documents. If you have any doubt, you can write in the comment section below. If it is required, I will create another video to solve your doubts. If you like this video, you can hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching this video.